disclaimer, this instructional tool is created to enable students to develop their test taking skills. The question or questions and answer or answers contained in this instructional video were patterned after the official publicly accessed samples from the RN test plan of the National Council of State Boards of Nursing or NCSBN. The discussions and rationale presented in the video are based on the lecturer's research and are meant to provide an explanation for the answer or answers to the question or questions that is or are presented. The lecturer makes no claim directly implied or otherwise that the rationale discussed is officially endorsed by NCSBN. Good day learners, today we're going to talk about my pointers on methyl ergonovin maleate, okay? But before that, let's begin our discussion with a question. How do we check for the therapeutic effects of methyl ergonovin maleate? Now, for us to be able to answer this question, we need to recall some concepts related to this drug. And to do that, once again, let's use our check framework. So the first thing that we have to know is about the classification of the drug, and then we should know how to evaluate the effects of the drug. Then we should learn exactly what time is best to administer the drug. And then let's keep in mind client teaching tips related to the drug and keys to safe administration of the drug. Let's go over methyl ergonovin maleate using the check framework. Now, this drug, methyl ergonovin maleate or methrogen is actually an oxytocic agent. So it's used as a treatment for postpartum atony and it helps prevent hemorrhage or bleeding. How would you know that it is effective when there is firmly contracted uterus, okay? It is best given uh, or administered as prescribed by the physician. Now, what are the things that we need to report if the patient's taking this drug? We need to report difficulty of breathing and severe abdominal cramps. Now, this drug has the potential to increase the blood pressure initially. So we need to monitor the patient's blood pressure when the patient is under this drug and it is never given beyond one week. Now, it's also very important that since your methyl ergonovin maleate would promote contraction of the uterus, before the drug is administered, it is significant that the nurse tries to assess if the patient has taken blue cohosh because blue cohosh, an herbal remedy, okay, has an oxytocin-like effect such that if the patient has taken blue cohosh, then, okay, the effect of oxytocin will definitely increase. So that could potentially endanger the patient for uterine rupture because the uterus reacts to two oxytocin agents taken together. So it's very, very important that before giving oxytocin, you need to assess the patient if the patient has taken your blue cohosh. Now, if you want to review blue cohosh, there's a video also here in our channel about herbal remedies, and there's a discussion about blue cohosh and how it's differentiated from black cohosh, okay? Now, let's go back to the question that we posted a while back. How do we check for the therapeutic effects of methyl ergonovin maleate? Definitely, we need to assess the characteristics of the uterus. If the uterus becomes firm and contracted after administration of the drug, then we could say that the medication has exerted its therapeutic effects. So it's shout out time once again. Congratulations to a lady from Las Pinas City, to Maria Angela Guevara, USRN, who passed the state board exam for the state of New Mexico last July 8th. These are the ladies who are usually, uh, who have the guts to turn their dreams to reality. Even during this time of pandemic, they haven't stopped trying to figure out how they empower themselves to eventually, okay, start off their careers after we get out of this situation. So once again, from your R.A. Diapas family, Maria, congratulations for being one of our latest USRNs. So let's learn together. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gapus Mentors, and my Facebook page, Mentor Ray.